Hi, my name is Destiny Jones. I'm from Atlanta, Georgia. I received funding on July 26th and I completed my evaluation in 15 trading days. I did the $250,000 account um, and I chose the $250,000 account because I felt very confident in my trading abilities. I had practiced for about two or three months prior to and I, I felt that I was ready. I was doing um, pretty well. So I was like, you know what, let me just go big. Um, and my trading approach could be defined as um, severe risk management. So one up trader was recommended by um, several friends who are very profitable. Um, they're six and seven figure traders on one up trader. So um, that's why I originally went with them. Um, and then after doing a little re research on other trading platforms similar to one up, um, I realized one up was probably the best one for me. Um, so that's why I stayed with them. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think one up trader, and I mean, honestly, it has a lot to do with the support team. Um, they're just so responsive. I don't know if they sleep. <laughs> they're like personal cheerleaders and they're just so supportive. If you have any questions, they're like quick to answer it. Um, and they're also knowledgeable. Like, you know, you, you ask a question and it takes seconds for them to answer. You know, it, didn't, it doesn't seem like they're digging for, you know, like, let me find it, give me a few minutes. So um, that's one part of it. Another part is um, the way you're allowed to make withdrawals. It seems a lot more, it's easier and it's quicker than a lot of other platforms. Um, there were so many, like I, I ask so many questions, like I'm always in the chat, whether it's like some small dumb question or like I can't think of anything that was like really, really big, but there was one instance where I think I was on the Discord and um, Someone had written, um, make sure you take your card off a of one-up trader because they'll, after you get funded, they'll keep charging you monthly. And I was like, oh, uh -oh let, me, let me, you know, call and make sure it's 650. So I, I messaged them and they were like, no, we don't do that. And I was like, okay, thanks. Any small question, I'll just like go ahead and shoot the chat. Even um, when I got my funding, I remember it was the 15th day at like six in the morning. I finally hit my mark and I immediately like went to one-up trader and I hit up the chat. And they're like, yay, congratulations. Like, it was barely into my 15th day. So like, it, yeah, that, they were just like my go-to point of reference. Um, yeah, it was a smooth transition, of course. Like, I think it was maybe two or three days. So I finished on a Friday and I think I received um, my funding um, contract maybe the following Tuesday, Tuesday or Wednesday, something like that. So, but it was, it was quick and easy. Um, contract was pretty straightforward. Everything was smooth. You know, I'm really not sure if I did. I do remember hitting up the chat a lot, but whenever I made trades, I would see like a little pop-up window come up, like, you know, exceeded threshold or under threshold. And I was always unclear about that. Um, but they were always quick to explain that. So maybe there was little warnings. Um, but other than that, there was no expectation to be on any certain channels or even on one up, it gives you the option um, to be in the funded chat. And I'm talking about on the one up trader website, not the discord. Um, like you can be on the funded or the non-funded. So like, no, there was, no, there was nothing, no requirements. They weren't asking anything of me. There was one um, site that a lot of people are starting to use, um, but it took like six months before you could make a withdrawal. So I was just like, well, what's the point? <laughs> Um, but yeah, no, this is, this is it. Even when I was considering opening up a second account, I think I decided I would just do it through one up again. Um, not for the first couple of months. So like my new method, um, especially since we're entering in what I think is a little bit more rocky of a market. And this is just like across the board for any day trader. Um, I just want to create a big enough cushion to where I can comfortably trade. If that makes any sense. So um, I'm going to tighten my risk management severely um, just to make sure that I maintain my account and um, just do it right. You know what I mean? Not, and, and, and try to tra change my strategy as necessary and not stick with one thing. So I guess it's more of a personal goal, you know? Um, no, not really. I'm not I, like the indicators. I have ADHD, so too much stuff going on on my screen confuses me. <laughs> so um, 
I try not to use indicators, but I do really like the time and sales in the Superdome um, to see how people are trading, to see what bulk orders are coming through uh, and things like that. That's pretty much all I use though. Every morning I wake up, I have like a trader's creed sort of that I go by and I write that down daily um, to make sure that my, my emotions are managed because I find that, you know, emotional management is like 80% of trading successfully. Because um, you just have to wrap your mind around accepting losses and it's not always easy. So I always write that out every day. Um, and then I'll check to see um, the Asian market, the overnight market, how, how they did. Um, and I try to get in the market before like 6, 7 a.m. Um, and I, I track it until 8, 8.25. The market opens at 8.20, but you know, I'll always set my opening price. So those are some of the things that I'll do um, to prepare myself. For making trades. So I, I trade partially through an automated bot and partially manually. So a lot of my short-term trades are going to be manual and my long-term trades are uh, through the bot, which um, during that time, especially early June, the long-term trades, like you just said, were doing really, really well. So um, every day was presumed to be a test and retest day. Um, so the market would trade on both sides. Um, so whenever I hit a certain um, price or you know number of ticks, and I would just automatically reverse that trade um, because the majority of the days are test and retest days. So that was like very really great, and, you know, and it worked really well during that time. No longer is that the case right now, <laughs> but it was working really well. So um, in my short term trades, I, I always would just go for two or three ticks. Um, with a small number of contracts. And that would be somewhat of a cushion or protection um, for if my long-term trades didn't work in my favor. Um, and my, my risk management on that was like eight ticks. Um, if it went further than eight ticks, then my stop loss would be hit, um, but I would allow it to go up to 24 ticks. Oh my gosh, tremendously, tremendously. I, I started trading um, in February. And prior to that, I was a nursing student. So it was such a different realm for me. Um, but what made me a better trader was the account analytics, being able to check that every day um, to hone in on my strategy, find what days work best for me trading and what days I need to scale back, um, what times I need to scale back. Um, because I would turn on my auto bot around 2 a.m. and because of the account analytics, I was able to see that I was losing every day those trades. <laughs> um, so it just helped me really strategize. And I'm already um, not a huge risk taker, which is why I think I was doing so well. But it made me even more conscious of that and, and kind of um, looking to tighten that even more around the times that I need to and loosen it up a bit, you know, at other times. So yeah, one of trader has been really great, and I'm I'm excited to um, continue learning and growing. Risk management every day, every trade, every moment, constantly evaluate how much you're able to lose, um, and and even tighten that a little bit more. You know, the more money you have to trade, um, the better your chances will be. You know, don't try to grab everything all at once. I was fortunate enough to be able to pass my evaluation in, in um, 15 days, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't put that much pressure on yourself. You know, if you need to do it in 18 to 20 days, whatever, just take your time, um, know how much money you're gonna profit each day and stop, <laughs> know how much money you're gonna lose every day and stop. <laughs> so that's it, just risk management. <laughs>